Reporting from Columbus, Ohio. We appreciate you guys watching the channel. This is Peter and Rob. We had a great time today. 80,000 people filled the stands. And uh, the Scarlet took the win, even though the Gray technically won the game on a pick six at the end of the game. Rob, what were some of your takeaways from the game for the quarterback position? My uh, takeaway is that um, Will Howard and Devin Brown started the most. I think they both made some uh, some pretty good throws. You know, uh, they were able to you know, read the field and they were able to take off when needed. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was pretty prevalent to me that when they didn't come out in the uh, the second half that you know Day and company had seen enough and they wanted right. they wanted to see more of Julian Sane. Honestly, like I'm actually disappointed what I saw from Julian Sane. He threw, I mean, he threw like two or three picks, three, but yep, as of, as of right now, the uh, quarterback battle it's not secure, but. Um, I could see Will Howard taking it in the end. I would tend to agree that the quarterback battle is between Will Howard and Devin Brown. And um, I think Sam has some room to grow. Granted, he's only been on campus for two months. So he's got some room to grow in the offense. And he'll have time to do that. And time to uh, you know get the rhythm and timing down with the receivers. Well, guys, battle cry here. Peter and Rob checking back in. <laughs> got kicked out of the stadium because it was time got, to go. got kicked out. Like time that. to go. We got the boot. We're going to get a shot with Big Nut. Didn't even get that in. But anyway, what do you think of the defense, Rob? How I think they were the stars of the of the show today. What, do you, what did you think of the defense's performance with like four picks, four or five picks? I think they're picking up where they left off last year. The defense is going to be lead again, especially the secondary. The secondary really stood out. Like my boy Peter said, they got four or five picks, took two to the house. I mean, they had to me, they had the game-winning touchdown, but... The refs didn't count it, so. Yeah. But um. The gray definitely won. I think this year we're gonna have another season of no pass longer than 20 yards. I mean, no, I don't, I don't see any offense. We set that being, last year. We set that precedent. We allowed no plays of over 20 yards through the through the air. And I think we're gonna do it again, Rob. I think you're right. I don't, I don't see any offense airing out on Ohio State. Well, our no secondary offense. is the, the most elite unit that the Buckeyes have. That was made clear, and that was very prevalent today here in the horseshoe. What, what I want to see more when summer rolls by is a solidified, solidified starters at the linebacker backer position. I, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be Sonny Styles and Cody Simon. I think we're going to see C.J. Hicks at the transfer portal. C.J. Hicks might be in the portal. He's been the star of, of the last two spring games. He performed well again today, at least from what we could see up in the stands. But, yeah, I agree. It's going to be Styles and Simon most likely. So that'll be interesting. Any other thoughts today before we, we sign off from Columbus and head back to Michigan? What do you, uh, what do you expect the, the season to look forward to next year? And who's going to be the superstar of the offense and who's going to be the superstar of the defense? Well, this season, I think the uh, unsung hero on the offense is going to be the true freshman, the freak of nature, J.J. Smith. Yeah, and on buddy. defense... I think it's about time that JTT and Jack Sawyer, they're going to have a big breakout They need to year. eat. They need to eat, man. They, they, need, they need to feed. Jack Sawyer had a three-sack game against Missouri in the Cotton Bowl. He needs to continue that performance. JTT hasn't played a monstrous game since the Penn State game in 2022. They need to perform at an elite level if this Buckeye team is going to reach their national title lofty goals that they have. Ryan Day said it before the game. We can't. All these players came back for two reasons: to beat that team up north and to win the national championship. And that's what they're coming to do. It was a great spring game. We had a lot of fun in the sun, perfect temperatures. This is Peter and Rob signing off from Columbus. We'll see you next time.